In my opinion, this small Suffolk brewery just keeps going from strength to strength. It's beer o'clock and today we've got a can of Red IPA from the Brew Shed Brewery in Bury St Edmunds coming in at 4.5% ABV. Now, in the intro I said that this brewery, in my opinion, is just going strength to strength. They're just getting better and better. Um, I went out to lunch today to one of their, their pubs called the, uh, the Crown at, at Hartest, which is out in Suffolk, um, halfway between sort of Sudbury and Bury St Edmunds. And they actually had this on tap. And um, the good thing about the Bruchet Brewery is in their pubs, they also sell the cans of beer. So if you go in one of their pubs and um, you like the beer you're drinking, you can actually just you know buy a can while you're there, like two pound fifty for a can. You know, it's no great shakes or anything like that, and take it home with you. So it's really really good. And this brewery they've been going since about 2011, um, and they actually started brewing at the back of a pub called the Beer House in Bury St Edmunds. And they just slowly sort of grown, and um, I say they own the beer house in Bury St Edmunds, who's got a fantastic range of beers in there. Really has. They've got all their own beer plus other stuff, you know. And you'll see your tiny Rebel in there, and uh, other other breweries, um, your sort of um, Wild Company, that sort of thing. So it's a real good place for if you're into your craft beer and you're out in Bury St Edmunds. Also got another pub in Bury St Edmunds called the One Ball, which is more of a sort of a restaurant, uh, well, sort of restaurant pub lunch type sort of a um, pub, and that's that's really really good as well. Uh, I like that one. They've got actually got low and brow on tap in that one, which is quite good. Uh, we don't see that in many pubs. Um, and they've got one called the um, Cadogan, which is in Ingham, which is um, north of Bury St Edmunds, and that one's got a, um, an AA rosette, and that's really really good. And like I say, they've got the Crown and. The good thing about these pubs is the food is proper cooked food. This is none of your Break Brothers um, microwave ping meals and all that. It's proper. They know the chips are proper hand cooked chips that are done and everything's locally sourced as well and it's not expensive. You know, there was what, four of us out for lunch today. We've all had lunch, we've all had a couple of pints each and you know, just over 80 quid, £20 a head. You know, that's that's cheap in my opinion. Anyway, let's move on to the beer. So, so I sunk a couple of pints of this with me lunch and I was really, really impressed with it. I really, really was. Now it's called a red IPA. As you can see, I don't know if you see it there, there is a reddish tinge to the beer. If you hold it up to the light, you can sort of see the reddish tinge. I don't know whether you can sort of see it on the camera. Um, it's got a lovely, look at that, nice one finger off white head there. Uh, sort of looks like a porter, really, doesn't it, in, in the colour. Um, Let's get the aromas. The aromas of this really, really sort of a, a good sort of roasted malt um, aroma to this. And then you've got this fruitiness coming through. Because this actually got four lots of hops in it. Um, Definitely dry hopped with some of them, and some of them that in the brewing process, or they could be using all the four of them in the brewing process and in the dry hopping. Um, you've got your Centennial, you've got um, your Amarillo, 
you've got uh, your Simco, and uh, the other one, what's the other one in there now? Uh, in, and your Magnum. So they're your four hops that you've got in this beer. And it's got this beautiful, coming through the, ro the roasted malts is, you get sort of grapefruit, uh, mango, it's all them sort of um, them fruity notes that you expect with, with, with those hops. Um, it's really is a nice smelling smelling beer. You usually get not, uh, there is a bit of sort of burnt caramel there too. Um, yeah, it smells fantastic. Let's get, let's give it a try. Cheers. Citrus, it's fruity, and then you've got this these roasted malts that sit over the top of it. It's got a nice mouthfeel of this, this beer as well. Even on a hot day like it's been today, this is so refreshing. You've got a sort of sweetness there on the initial sip. And then you get this bitterness hit, which is sort of like lemon peel, orange peel, grapefruit peel, sort of bitterness. And then at the back end, the roasted malts start kicking in. And they really do put some saliva into your mouth. It's, this is a this is a really really juicy beer that um, puts a lot of even though it's bitter, it puts a lot a lot of saliva in your mouth, and it makes it refreshing on a hot day. It's it's a cracking beer in my opinion. Um, I'm really really impressed with it. You know, I walked in the in the pub and I sat on tap and I asked for a little taste, right? And I had a smell. That smells nice. I had a taste and just thought to myself, whoa, this is good. And um, my favourite one that they do is uh, they do one called an American Blonde, which is 5.5%. I have actually reviewed it um, a while back. And that's my favourite beer that, uh, that this brew house do. But this here, this is really, really good. It's, it's a lot better than I expected it to be. Um, I didn't expect it to be as juicy as this. You know, um, I was expecting the bitterness and the roasted malts, but with this juiciness, it's it's fantastic. It's a bit like I remember my f my father used to buy these um, these toffees. Um, used to sell them big sweet jars in sweet shops back in the day, and you used to go and get like four ounces or whatever it was it got at the time. And all these toffees had fruit flavours, so you'd have, a, you'd have strawberry ones, and, uh, orange ones, and lemon ones, and whatever. They're all toffees, and they're all differently flavoured. Um, this beer reminds me. Perhaps sticking two or three of these different fruit flavoured toffees in your gob <laughs> and chewing on them, and you get the, the you get the sort of the caramel and the fruit and the juiciness. It's yeah, it, that's what it reminds me of. It's it's that type of beer. Cracking, cracking beer. This is. Look, if you're ever out that way in Suffolk, Bury St Edmunds, go and check these guys out. Really check these guys out. Um, I cannot praise them up enough. It's they're fantastic. And especially if you're in the town, you know. It, their pub called the, the Beer House is just on the edge of the town centre. You know, It's about a five minute walk outside of the town centre. But if you're into the big craft beers, it's a, it's a blinding 
pub. I wish, I wish, I wish they'd, they'd open one up in my town, Braintree. I really wish they'd do it would. Um, and it's about time, Bruce said, you get a pub in Braintree because we've got nothing in this town at the minute. Um, look, check them out, or if you're out for a Sunday drive or Saturday drive, go and check out their pubs out in the sticks for something to eat as well, um, and their beer. And like I say, it's it's fantastic. So you know, get hold of get hold of some of their beers, give them a try, see what you think, leave a comment below, um, hit that little bell get notified every time I bring out a new review subscribe to the channel give us a big thumbs up and as I always say beer is the answer but I cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night